It is beautiful, isn't it? Mendeley thought. The way the still waters of Lake Conrich glisten on a clear day like a thousand sparkling jewels. The way the light of the evening sun streams through the trees of the fall forest, igniting their branches with warmth and making their leaves glow like honey. The way they sway gently in the cool breeze as it makes its way down from the mountains, whispering memories from ages past and revealing the secrets of the ancient ruins nestled amongst the peaks. As Mindleth sat on her deck overlooking the lake, taking in the sights and enjoying some well-earned rest after her mad adventure, she felt something she had not felt since before the Great War. Calm. Mindeleth won. Mercer Frey was dead, the Windhelm Guard was humiliated, and Min possessed enough wealth to have her set up for life. Her coffers were overflowing with septums, and her house was littered with jewels and trinkets. What was she to do with all that money? How would she spend it? For the first time since the Great War, Mindeleth had the chance to settle down. But she had come to Skyrim for the crown of Baranzaya, and despite her newfound wealth, Min only had eight of the crown's twenty-four gems. The skeleton key was in Min's hands, and the thieves' guild was preparing itself for new leadership. Her leadership. Min had the chance to settle down, but the war made her forget how. The crown still called to Mindeleth. And though a lifetime enjoying the sparkling waters and golden trees of the rift was tempting, the treasures this land concealed were far more enticing. Mindeleth had a taste of what Skyrim offered. And now she wants more.